a week after the World Series. And I still haven't made my thoughts on it. So, thought time. My thoughts on Houston winning in Game 7. Load of, I don't care. Because I want it LA to win. Because, let me get on my phone and pull it. But, oh, hell no. Nah. Let me pull a picture of LA Dodgers because I'm a cheapskate and I don't want to edit too much. Keep. Keep going. No, not Dodgers. Dodgers. There you go. Gotta smack nonsense myself. Oh, yeah, I know they lost 13 to 12 in game 5. Where's game 7 at? That's sad. And the present day of Astros 5, Dodgers 1. That was the dep present day. Oh, heck no. Uh uh uh. I'm wasting a lot of time. I have like half, maybe an hour of recording left. This team. If you haven't heard of this team, you gotta get on the internet more. Anyways, so my thoughts. On Houston winning. I predicted LA in six, but right as game five and it went Houston leads three to two, I said, all right, it's going to game seven and LA will win in game seven for their with their home field advantage. But none of that happened because my, my luck. I wanted the Indians to win last year. Uh, no, choked. And that happened, and I woke up, I did this. You gotta be kidding me. And then I got mad because the Cubs won. And I don't like the Cubs. So I'm gonna throw this around. As you see, I turn it on. It broke. And also my Coyotes are losing, so I'm kind of mad at that. This is probably late at night, middle of the day, or on the weekends. Is like now I can upload because parents. But anyways, my thoughts still continue. I was on my way home from something when I saw Houston up three to nothing. Well, my friend got the notification for two to nothing, and I was like. Okay, it's probably only the first. They have time to come back, the, the Dodgers. I was so wrong. I thought, oh, they have their fans. Their fans are probably going to go like, you better kill them. But no, it didn't work. Houston won. And insert an image of Houston now. With the trophy. I hope I'm back now. If I'm not, this would have been a waste of time. Apple. Apple. Here's a picture of LA, because I forgot to say to insert one, so here you go. I'm going to keep talking so it covers the whole thing. Thank you, bye. Listen to me. Uh. Anyways. But, hold on. We interrupt this quick baseball for some quick hockey cards. All right, real quick. Black Diamond, he's special. McDavid OHL card, he's special. Goalie, he's special. Black Diamond guy, he's special. Rookie Kane, you're definitely special. Flurry, you're kind of special. A wall, you're special. A Gretzky and a Crosby, that's special too. All right, back. <coughs> All right, I'm back. Back off. Say hi to cat or I'll punish you. My pants are falling off and that can't happen. Okay, back to baseball. Ah. No one cares about my thoughts and I don't think they do. So now let's see, I want an iPhone taste. 
pineapples. I don't like pineapples. Alright. <clears throat> Let me have your thoughts about Houston winning. Insert a pit, insert a video of them celebrating now. It's a winner take all game seven of the World Series in Los Angeles between the Dodgers and Astros. The fans certainly jacked up and ready for this one on both sides. LA huddling up, getting some final instructions. Lance McCullers Jr. on the hill for the Strohs going up against you Darvish. We pick up the action in the first after a George Springer leadoff double. It's Alex Bregman at the dish. To the right side, Darvish has to get over. Tough play, wild throw and into the dugout. Astros take the lead. In to score is Springer and in a blink, Houston on top one to nothing. Here comes a 2-1 pitch now to the right side. Bellinger thought about it, a run scores. Bregman almost did a header. And the batter, Yuli Gurriel. Gurriel tips his helmet out toward you, Darvish. And another 3-2 pitch and a fastball popped up into right field. Puig is there, and he makes the catch, and that's all for Houston. According to Lance McCullers, he can hit. Here's a 1-1. Chop to the right side. The play is to first as McCann scores. An RBI for Lance McCullers Jr. He's made it 3-0 Houston. And the batter is George Springer, who doubled and scored in the first. Here comes the 3-2. And George drills this one deep to left center field. You can kiss that one goodbye. Springer homers for the fourth straight game. His fifth here in the World Series. And the Astros have blown out to a 5-0 lead. And Roberts can't get to the mound quick enough. He wishes he had a moped at this point. Or a Lamborghini. Guriel holds on. Forsyth at first base. 2-2. Two -two. Chopper left side. Bregman dives, stops, gets to his feet, throws to first just in time to get Barnes. Outstanding play by Bregman. Really good play by Bregman, ranging to his left. And with two on, one out, here comes Chris Taylor, who doubled his first time. Taylor line drive for a double play. Getting over. Well, it's a stinker of a first game, and he has been lights out since. Here's the 0-2. Swung on and missed strike three. The 0-2 on the way. Bregman swings and misses. Had a breaking ball in the dirt. Bases are loaded. Two out. Five nothing Houston. Top of the six. A hit by Maven could be the death blow. Maven pops it up. Left side. Turner stepping. Foul territory. Makes the catch, and the inning is over. If you're counting them down, that's four outs away. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And Barnes hits this pretty well to right center field. Maven on the move, slowing down, makes the catch. Charlie Bort has been outstanding out of the bullpen as he has retired the last eight in a row. Two outs in the bottom of the ninth inning. As the last hope for the Dodgers is Corey Seager. Pitch on the way. Round ball right side into the shift to his left out too. He has it in short right. On to first. And the Houston Astros World Series champions. Who would have ever believed? For the first time in franchise history. Tuvieron que esperar 56 años para levantar el trofeo de octubre. The relievers are racing in for the bullpen, and the Astros have done it. The Astros are World Series champions for the first time in franchise history as they defeat the Dodgers 5-1 in Game 7. Five Strohs pitchers combined to allow just the one run, stranding 10 Dodger runners. Charlie Morton goes four innings, retiring the last 11 batters he faces. He picks up the win in both Game 7 of the ALCS and the World Series. George Springer with his fifth homer of the series, tying Reggie Jackson and Chase Utley for the most ever long balls in a single fall classic. Springer, for his efforts, wins the Willie Mays World Series MVP. He also sets a World Series record with 29 total bases and eight extra base hits while homering in four straight games. All right, I'm probably back to you now. So, I own no footage. I own no pictures, if I even get pictures. BMW. Insert a picture of BMW I eight now. All right, got, bye. All right, see you guys later. Five-minute video. Okay, I upload 19-minute videos now. I don't care anymore.